Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's the Kia Sportage fuse box locations. And there's generally two main fuse box locations and I'll show you both of these. If you've got any electrical faults on your Kia Sportage then it's definitely worth checking the fuses first. Right, let's check the internal fuse box first. Open up the driver's door. And down here, just in front of the driver's seat, you've got this small cover here. Gently pull it towards you. And that is where the internal fuses are. Now these are these horrible micro mini fuses, absolutely minuscule. They're really hard to remove. And that is where the OBD2 port is there, just below. Now you don't get a fuse removal tool in that one, but you do in the engine fuse box. So I'll just show you that now. So you need to open up the bonnet, pull that lever there, the bonnet will raise slightly, then pull the lever just above the Kia badge, raise the bonnet. And then just clip this into place to hold it up. And the fuses in the engine bay are over here on the right hand side. Now this is much easier with two hands, but you've got this clip at the front and a clip at the back and you're gently squeezing those inwards. It's easier if you can do them at the same time and then just lift the cover off. But obviously I'm filming with one hand and doing it with my other hand. So that cover is now released. Now gently wiggle that out of the tight space. And that is where your fuses are. Again, these are these horrible mini micro fuses. If you've got sausage fingers and thumbs like me, they're really, really difficult to get out and test. I don't know why they didn't just use standard size fuses. Now in this fuse box, you've got these fuses, you've got some relays, and you've got some bigger heavy duty fuses. And up here in the right hand corner is your fuse removal tool. So you squeeze that, place it over one of the fuses that you want to remove, and then it just clips into place. Now, as I did warn you earlier, these are these horrible mini micro fuses, so they're very easy to drop, and they're extremely difficult to remove. Once it's clipped on, then just pull it upwards. Now to test it old school, you can just hold it up to the light. This one looks pretty good, all in good condition, not blown. And this is an example of one that is blown, a standard fuse. You can see there it's blown in the middle. To put the fuse back in, just gently line it up and then push it down with your finger. Ideally, you'd have a fuse layout diagram. Instead of having to test them all, you should be able to just test the exact one which you think has blown. Maybe check some Kia Sportage forums, see if you can find a fuse layout diagram. Now you can test the fuses without removing them using a car blade fuse tester, or you could use a multimeter for this task. With this car blade fuse tester, you just line up the pins on the top, but it's very, very difficult with these mini micro fuses. You can see how small they are compared with the old school fuses. Now this is what you're doing with the car blade fuse tester. You're just testing the circuit. And when that light comes on, it means the fuse is good. Now you can test them without removing them because you've got the circuit in the top there. So you're just pushing the pins onto those metal contact points at the top. If the light comes on, the fuse is good. Now this car blade fuse tester is adjustable, so you can adjust it to fit the backs of the fuses but it is a lot easier on the standard size fuses. It's very difficult to get them on these mini micro fuses. To put the cover back on, make sure you put it in the right way round. Just gently squeeze it into that gap, push it down and you'll just hear it clip into place. Now there is another heavy duty fuse on the battery positive terminal. So if we just lift this cover here, and that is where the heavy duty fuse is there. If you've got major electrical faults, it's definitely worth checking that one as well. But that's very unlikely to actually blow. I hope that video wasn't too confusing. And it's time for a lovely brew. Whilst I'm having a brew, there's some other Kia Sportage videos around the edge of the screen. Drive safe and enjoy your Kia Sportage.